Thursday. I teach a class every Thursday. I'm only gone for an hour. <laughs> when I get home, a big waggy glob of dog meets me at the back door. All four of them, Mandy, Mabel, Libby, and Sweet Ethel. I'm embarrassed to admit this, but Ethel is my favorite. I, of course, love them all with everything I have, but sometimes one of them just really gets to you. And Ethel, I, I sneak her into the basement sometimes, and I, I hold her against my heart. She's so light and warm. And when she's there, I feel kind of a stillness, a calmness, like everything's going to be okay. So on Thursdays, I feed the dogs breakfast, and I spend extra time with them. Thursdays are really special. We go on extra long walks. Um, this one Thursday, a message was left for me while I was teaching class uh, to come straight home. Something really serious had happened. I, oh, oh God, oh God, please don't let it be Ethel. Please don't let it be Ethel. Oh God, please don't let it be Ethel. Please don't let it be Ethel. Please don't let it be Ethel. God, please don't let it be Ethel. 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 Please don't let it be Ethel.
get many things right the first time. In fact, I am told that a lot. Now I know all the wrong turns and stumbles and falls brought me here. And where was I before the day that I first saw your lovely face? Now I see it every day. And I know that I am, I am, I am the luckiest. What if I'd been born fifty years before you in a house on a street where you lived? Maybe I'd be outside as you passed on your bike. Would I know? Next door, there's an old man who lived to his nineties and one day passed away in his sleep. And his wife, she stayed for a couple of days and passed away. Etala, little girl, so beautiful with golden fur. Etala, come here now. I hold you close and I keep my vow to love you first and love you last, to cradle you until you pass. Etala, your head rests right here. Against my heart, your breath is near. Etala, your song is gone. The air is blank and the day is too long. Ethel, please come home. <laughs>